Hi, everybody. Welcome to, uh, what, what are we calling this now on Thursday? It's uh, oh, Thursdays with Integrity? Something like that. Integrity a, Thursdays? Yeah. Uh, something like that. Maybe Tuesdays. We might switch it. Yeah, we're not I sure. I think we're going to do uh, Integrity Tuesdays. Integrity it? Tuesdays. But today is Thursday, so it's Integrity Thursday. Yeah. And then uh, More Than Money, I guess, will be broadcasting on Thursdays. Thursdays, yes. How about right now? It's, uh, <laughs> it's uh, Investing with Biblical Integrity. I'm Mark Manella. Stephen Ballance. And we're glad you're with us today. Yeah. As we talk about everything financial from a biblical perspective. That's right. Uh, we want to invite you all to email us, write us, uh, send us your questions so we can address them on anything to do with investments or stewardship or just getting along with finances in your world. We'd be honored to do that. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, are we, we giving out more than money is information, right? Sure. So, okay. That's, it's, it's all kind of combined a little bit. Um, contact at mtmministry.com. You can email us 314-212-1405. Give us a call. Um, we're on social media. You can even leave comments, message us. Uh, it all works. Right. So. And, and we're really not combined. Uh, more than Money Ministries is a 501c3, which was formed to help individuals with money to help people. There's actually four sub ministries. We talked about it before. Mm. One of them is the Missions Local that helps people out of poverty. One of them is to educate and bring information about biblical stewardship. Mm. One of them is to help people understand investing with biblical integrity. Yeah. So we have, have different ministries. Uh, we're both on the board of in, in, um, More Than Money Ministries. But uh, today we're, we're talking as from Integrity Investors. Yes. Yeah. And, um, you know, one of the things that gets brought up is, uh, you know, as you all know, Mark has a book coming out soon, and it's called The Wall Street Awakening. Uh, the heart and mind of investing with biblical integrity. That is it. That's and true. And we've we've actually had some questions about the uh, the subtitle, Wall Street Awakening. It's you know it's big, it's powerful, but there's yeah. the the little you know uh, the subtitle on the bottom, and it talks about biblical integrity. Now uh, I'm yeah. sure everyone kind of knows you know integrity. It's been said is what you do when no one's looking. You know how <laughs> how you act when no one's looking, but um, biblical integrity. There's not really a definition for that. I don't. I'm I don't sure. know if that's something you yeah, came up well, with. Two or... good words. One, the Bible. Okay. Which is God's uh, instructions to us. It's His word. It's His how we should live. How we should care for one another. How we should love on one another. Okay. How we should interact with our Maker and our Savior. You know, the Old Testament, New Testament. All that is. That's what the Bible is about. Integrity. Mm -hmm means investing with in biblical integrity just means what it says integrity means whole without mm. compromise without you know being split apart so the whole idea of investing with biblical integrity means investing in alignment with your beliefs as stated by God's word mm. so that that kind of encompasses the whole heart and mind you have to be changed in both places well right the reason it's called the heart and mind of investing with biblical integrity the the subtitle is because I wrote it in two parts the first part is was written more like a devotional a verse some commentary some poignant questions to help you to get in to prepare your heart for an understanding of God's word on investing with biblical integrity. And then the second half is application, the pathway for you, mm -hmm. uh, either a uh, self investor or somebody who uses a professional, uh, you know, a pathway for both those to help you to move in that direction. Mm. So then my question is uh, why is that important? I mean, uh, other than the you know the possible feel good of doing what God says or something, I mean you know when it comes yeah, to your investments, yeah, yeah, yeah. And why is that even important? You know what a what a great question because actually it's been struggling for a little bit about the state of the world and mm -hmm. our and I'm talking about the world from a Christian community world, oh. how far we've gone with losing the respect for our God and Savior, mm. how people live their lives as if they're just, I mean, can you tell the difference between a Christian and a non-Christian these days? Uh, when you go I, out to eat yeah. or when, you, when you're when you out at the mall or when you, 
I mean, everybody seems to be acting the same. And, and I guess, you know, in some parts it's got to be true. Mm. But if we truly believe there's a God and he created all things and he's all wise and he has all knowledge and he knows the past, the present and the future mm -hmm. all the time, you yeah. know, and, and he that he loves us so much that he's that not only did he create us, but when we turned our backs, which we all have done, he, he provided a way for reconciliation for us to have peace with the one true God. If we really believe this about God, then shouldn't we honor him? Mm. Shouldn't we be a little bit different than this, this world than people who don't have a God, who don't believe in a God, who don't realize that there is truth, that there truly is love, selfless love? I mean, it should be different. And that's where integrity comes in. We say, I trust Jesus Christ for my salvation as my Lord and Savior. And then we don't walk that way. Mm. You know, True. there's a conflict True. then between what we say and what we do. Yeah. You know, a long time ago I learned what you believe determines what you will do. Mm. Okay. If you believe the stove is hot, you okay. won't touch it right hopefully not even if it isn't even <laughs> if it's turned off you know and been off for three hours if you believe it was hot you wouldn't purposely go over and touch it true what you believe determines what you will do well as Christians I think our society has come and I just don't want to be so negative and I know there are a lot of great Christians watching mm. but our society has gotten to a point to where people are picking and choosing what they want out of the Bible now in the Christian that's, community. That's true. Well, I believe this is true, so I'll go with that. I don't really agree with you on that, but it's not agreeing with me. It's agreeing with the Bible. Doesn't it say in all things, honor the Lord your God? Mm. Doesn't it say that um, you can't serve mammon and God? Yep. You know, you can't have two masks. There's so many verses that deal with this, and we have to learn to to realize what those verses mean, first of all, because all of them don't mean exactly what people think they do. <laughs> but, but many do, and, and and that's where the integrity thing comes in. Mm -hmm. Is if you're going to invest with biblical integrity, it means you're going to, if you believe that God is God and His word is His word, and it's and to honor Him, we should keep His word, mm -hmm. not only in our hearts but in our actions then that encompasses everything about you and me. Mm -hmm. It encompasses everything, who we are, what we do, not just on Sundays or not, yeah. not just our, our giving, but also it encompasses how we interact with one another, yeah. how, we, how we work, what we do for a living, what we, and we've talked about that before, you know, how we earn our money, uh, how we utilize our money, all mm -hmm. aspects of stewardship, including investments. Yeah. And, and that's what investing with biblical integrity is about. Let me, let me maybe this will clarify it a little bit more. What is the opposite of integrity? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if there's an actual just, there's one word for I it? I believe there is. Oh, is there? At least in my mind there is. Oh, okay. What would that be? Perversion. Oh. You pervert okay. something which compromises the integrity of it. Oh. And now is no longer biblical but it's biblical and worldly mm. and that's called perversion think about sexuality okay. a man and a woman are to become one that yeah. is the biblical concept of marriage yeah what has happened to marriage in our civil society today um well a little bit of everything unfortunately right they say no it's not just a man and a woman anymore it's, they perverted it yeah Civil society has perverted biblical marriage. Now, civil, civil, <laughs> civilian marriage or civil marriage can do whatever they want if they don't claim to be a believer, a Christian, mm -hmm. don't believe the Bible is the Word of God. You know, so, but from a Christian perspective, that's a perversion of the concept of marriage because mm -hmm. the Bible states clearly it's between a man and a woman. And any sex act outside of marriage is a perversion yep. because. It's, it, the Bible says there should be no sex outside of marriage between a man and a woman. So it doesn't matter if it's a heterosexual sex act or a homosexual sex act or whatever. So the, the opposite of integrity is perversion. Mm. But people don't carry that. They see it in immorality. I mean, even in, in birth, you know, the idea of babies, you okay. know, uh, 
the idea of abortion is a perversion from oh. biblical concepts that values life. Yeah. Okay. So, but many people don't see it in their finances. Mm. If, if, you know, when if you're, if <laughs> they see it in entertainment, <laughs> you yeah. know, they see perversion yeah. in how entertainment has gone from wholesome and family oriented to uh, just gory and grotesque and immoral acts being yeah. seen as normal. That's a perversion. But they don't see it in money. They don't see how it's a perversion that God, that when you buy a stock, you're an owner in a company. Mm. Yeah. You become an owner. You may be one one millionth, but an owner just the same. If you partner with somebody that is doing something perverted and you're an owner in the company that's doing the perversion, yeah. Does this make sense? Uh, yeah. So they a lot of people say, well, you know, I, I, I just invest for my retirement. Okay. God says go for it, but he doesn't say go for it in a way that dishonors me, compromises my tenets of love to you to care for and put others before yourself instead of using and abuse others for your financial benefit. Yeah. You know, um, I, I was thinking about that the other day, and I think one of the big keys is when people invest in those things, uh, one of the reasons they do is because mm -hmm. they don't, with their own eyes, they don't see what the other company is investing in. And, and I was thinking of an example. That's if, very often. People just don't know. They, yeah. And if, if, say, I went up to a CEO of a company and I gave him money to buy stock and he turned right around and gave it to a doctor who was going to perform an abortion, I'd want that money back. I wouldn't want to be a part of it, yeah. but I think it's because or I actually see Or if you bought into it. that practice, that doctor's yeah. business. You know, you don't have to give the money directly to them. You could buy a, shares of a stock from somebody else. You're still an owner. Yeah. You're still yeah. an owner, and that's the bottom line. Of, so, yeah, a lot of people say, well, I just don't know. And then some people say, and I don't want to know. Uh, yeah. But there are verses in the Bible that tells us not to hide our head in the sand. We're to mm -hmm. wake and be conscious mm -hmm. and be aware. We are to, we are to seek knowledge and wisdom continuously this is god who talks about these things so uh you know that's not the christian way either is yeah. to hide from the truth and and i think it all comes down to our faith i know a, a lot of people uh, you know for somebody who just doesn't know i get that but when the awareness comes to them when there's so many ways to find out mm. when and and there's so many ways to know for certain what you're doing or as certain as, as humanly possible, yeah. what, who you're partnering with, what you're promoting through that partnership, and what you're profiting from. Um, there, there's little excuse left for that, I just didn't know. But yeah. for the person who does say that, and then they find out, but they don't change what they do, mm. then I question their faith. Well, let me restate that. I don't question their faith in God as their savior. I, I question the depth of their maturity Mm. In, in Christ well and there's there's even uh, the, the verse that usually convicts me the most and I don't, I don't like it myself okay. but I it's, it is in the Bible and I follow that is um, you know if you know uh, if you know what is right and you don't do it it's, it it's sin. still a sin yeah you know and, and the whole thing is I don't like guilt you know there's no more guilt no more shame Christ no. died on the cross paid the price for our sins we don't invest with integ biblical integrity because of guilt, although some people, guilt spurs them on. True, you know? true. We do it as an act of love and an act of worship because our God is all powerful. He can provide for us. Mm. And we can invest without compromising his values with his money because as stewards, it's all his. Yeah. I mean, just think about this. If you had to sit down before Jesus and he said, so what'd you do with my money when you invested it? What'd you invest? Did you invest in orphanages? Did you invest mm -hmm. in, in companies that cared for and served others? Or did you invest in companies that purposely got people addicted to products so they can make a profit or mm -hmm. harmed others yeah. through things like abortion or pornography? You know, uh, and, and a lot of people say, well, pornography, that's a choice for people. It is a choice, but it's still using and abusing people yeah. for a profit and causing addiction because pornography is addiction. And yeah. by the way, I just saw an article that is proof that pornography actually increases the, the child um, trafficking. 
sexual yeah. trafficking, yeah. Wow. So all these things lead to ugly things, and that's not news for anybody, but why would we, as those who are supposed to be lights in the world, mm. want to compromise and pervert our faith by partnering with companies that do those kinds of things? So that's why yeah. integrity, that's where the word integrity means, without compromise, without perversion. Okay. Well, then uh, we're, we're almost out of time, Mark, but if you don't mind, I, I kind of want to show oh. these people something. So uh, this is a, a little bit of an idea of what Mark's book is going to look like, right? That, that is a cover about twice the size of the book. Well, really going to be, hope. obviously. <laughs> the book's really five by eight, but that's... That's the uh, one yeah. of the graphics of the cover, which should, and the book should be out any week yeah. now. It is, you know, we've had some graphic issues, but uh, it looks like we're getting them all straightened out. So hopefully it'll be out. And if somebody wants to pre-order the book, anybody who pre-orders the book, uh, we I will autograph. Yeah, and so. you can pre-order uh, the Wall Street Awakening .com, and Mark will autograph that. And for any of the the viewers here. If you want a free copy for the first 25 people, you know, the list is running short, give us a holler, call, email, something like that, and uh, we'll get you on the list for a free signed copy. We definitely will. So, And uh, I know those were kind of tough words we were talking. Mm. Nobody likes the word perversion or compromise. Uh, a lot of people don't even like the word integrity <laughs> anymore. <laughs> but, but the whole idea is not guilt, shame. The whole idea is so you can realize more joy, more yeah. peace more rest in your life by knowing you're walking in the tenets of love as dictated through the Bible and our God on caring, loving, doing the right thing for others and for yourself. Yeah. The whole idea of no compromise investing is that don't compromise your returns. Get with, work with somebody who can help you get the returns you want. And don't, don't compromise your values, your biblical values. And in doing so, when, when somebody wakes up to that, it affects all aspects of their thought and their brain and allows them one more way to worship the one true God yeah. through their investments. Yeah, and, very true. And that person, I think, really realizes that life is so much more than money. All right. We'll see you next week. God bless.